that's part of this word. Like, I feel like the Lord's challenged me personally. I feel like he's challenged us not to get comfortable, not to get stagnant, not to be okay with the status quo. He's calling you into some space that is, it makes you afraid. It makes you afraid. It's why God, when he shows up to tell people to do stuff, he usually leads with, fear not. Don't, don't be afraid, because what I'm fixing to tell you, you're probably going to feel it. That's how you usually know it's the Lord. If you feel all comfortable and it's like, oh yeah, this is routine. I'm a little nervous about that place, to be honest with you. I don't want to be in some place where I can do it in my own strength. I, that's, that's humanitarian effort, and I'm for that. Like, I'm for that. But that's the difference between the church that has a living Jesus and a humanitarian effort. All of them are good, but we're the ecclesia. We're the movement of God. We are a called out people on a purpose. That's who we are. That's who the church is. That is the actual definition of who we are. You won't find church in the Bible. You'll find ecclesia in the Bible, which is just a movement. So one of the value statements that we say here, if you've gone to this, this catch the vision that Tim speaks of, If you have gone through this catch the vision that Tim speaks of, we talk about our values. And one of the statements is that we're a movement and not a monument. And we keep that as a value statement, not because it sounds cool and it rhymes and we're really good at putting rhyming words together. It's because it's the truth. And we need to be reminded that we are a movement so we don't get stagnant and we don't get um, stationary in one place. We don't get comfortable in that space. We don't get lazy. We don't get apathetic. We don't get hard-hearted. We don't get new wineskins that stay soft for whatever he's saying and whatever he's doing in our hearts and our lives. 